I'm Daniel. And I'm Alan. And we are here to talk to you about authentication. In our last video, we uh, kind of did a high level video on what is identity and why does it exist. And today, we're now going to get a little bit more granular. So let's start off with authentication. Alan, what is authentication? So authentication is basically the problem of taking a real world person, you or I. That's a real world person. Real world person <laughs> who's sitting in front of a computer and working out who they are. In other words, working out which particular piece of information that we've got in our identity store relates to that person. Yeah. So somehow we've got to tie these two things together. So who are you? Who are you? Yep. Yeah. And basically we, we talked about in the last video that you don't want to have the developers build that into every single app. You right. want to do it once. You want to do it once and you want to share that information as to who you are. Okay. So if I want to figure out who that is, how do I do it in the, uh, the, the world of identity? Well, in the world of identity, you would probably have some kind of login page, mm -hmm. right? And these applications would send the user to this login page where they authenticate or type in some information that only they know. Most of us have used a username and password mm -hmm. or something like that to authenticate ourselves. The identity system takes this information and does some magic, makes sure that it is indeed you, and can now tell each one of these applications that, yes, Daniel has logged in. So if that's me, and I'm Daniel trying to access nice smile. this app. <laughs> when I hit that app, it's not resolving the authentication of the app, but rather bouncing it to the identity system. Correct. So the application is just saying, tell me who this is. Yep. And it gets told, ah, this is Daniel. And so I don't need to build login pages for every single app here. Absolutely not. We can share that. And all of the applications can take that same login. OK. That's pretty impressive. And so, so this seems really simple, but does it get more complex? Like what if I want to authenticate in different ways? Absolutely. Different so there's a lot of complexity here because everybody wants to determine who the user is in a different way. Mm -hmm. right, we've all used banking applications where you've got a username and password and some magic pin. Yep. Or there's other applications where you have to use some kind of secret token that gets emailed to you. Mm -hmm. So each one of these are different ways of determining who that user is. Okay, so based on the security of the app, based on the importance or uh, um, how much security you want to build into those apps, it could be the application, it could be where the user is, it could be based on all sorts of different things. And so the examples, we, we talked about a token card that banks give you, it could be one-time password via phone. Could be um, a key card or key something card like or that. a mobile app. Um, Absolutely. It could be a social identification, right? I could maybe use my LinkedIn login. Absolutely, you can use a LinkedIn login. Okay. But what that means, is that behind this, it's not just one single authentication, right? We want to have the possibility to use a whole range of different kinds of authentication yeah. or different authentication modules. Yeah, and so it's important that the identity system be able to have those different types of, uh, ex that, that extensibility to support those different modules. Absolutely, or in fact, for these to be customized okay. because each customer may want to do additional things when they authenticate a user. Interesting. Okay. Well, I think that gives a good introduction to what authentication is. In our next uh, video, I think we're going to hit on multi-factor authentication. Multi-factor, absolutely. Okay. Thank you, everyone.